guys, I'm in Tobermory and this is the beautiful inn I'm right now and uh, it's really gorgeous and today the weather is so nice, a bit windy today but still very nice so what I'm doing right now is heating up the stuff which I brought yummy this is this is Halim I guess most of people coming from India talk and they know what it is and pretty much you can heat this up you're not allowed to heat in the room so that's fine no problem so they have this barbecue in place so that you can heat it up actually and uh, as you can see it's already steaming yummy yummy mm. I actually prefer bringing stuff in my own place because it's so much healthier that way. So now this is already heated and uh, what we can do is, yeah, so bought some Nguri Naan here and let me heat one or two of these beauties also. Let's see how it heats up. Right. In the plate. Plate, plate, plate. Okay. Alright. I think I like the man better. This is roti. Traditional roti flatbread. Completed one. Let me do the remaining. One more to go. Yes. Okay. And start eating. All right. I guess I can't eat with just one hand, so I'll have to. Hey, hey, yes, this is me. And uh, as you can see in the background, this the beautiful, it's called Adventure Inn. Uh, I would recommend, I mean, it's good, a bit on the pricey end, but still, you know, everything is clean. Uh, I'll make a video also of the inside. All right. So we are at the Bruce Penesana. Harbor. That's how it looks like. Beautiful weather today, and so many yachts out there. I'll make a separate video on that one too. And uh, I think maybe in a couple of minutes we are going to go. And uh, we have many cars lined up. Okay, interesting. All right, so once I board, I will then continue the video. Right now, for now. Hey guys, I barely made it, and as you can see, my car was the last one. I was on standby. Look here.
here we are at the harbor on Manitoulin Island and uh, it's looking great it's been sunny all day and uh, very nice temperature around 20s and the sun isn't too strong either like off and on it's cloudy sunny and excellent weather so and then we have lots of vehicles lined up and uh, what else oh even motorcycles yes nice let's talk to some motorcycle people maybe <coughs> we have some uh, gift shops as well over there we have motel gift shop Maybe have some fish and chips. So things are looking really, really good here. Even pizzas are available. And uh, that is me. Hey guys. Yeah, actually, you know, I would uh, strongly recommend this destination. It's one of the uh, popular tourist destination of Ontario and uh, uh, you, you have uh, many things to go about you can even uh, have for example helicopter rides and it's all in one place like you don't have to go very far in order to go to um, if you want to see new and new places so it's uh, pretty much contained here in uh, one place and uh, the recommended month of the year would be either June or July because those two months are the hottest and usually in a place like this one where you have uh, a huge lake the Lake Huron um, temperature can dramatically drop even sometimes in June July depending upon the weather if it rained or not and therefore it's recommended to come during that season uh, however if you come in August it might be cold or you might need jacket and all that stuff as you can see I don't even have a jacket right now and I'm feeling very comfortable and uh, yeah so I think I'm going to take some Manitoulin fresh fish as over there it's advertised and uh, hmm. plus they do have some native crafts as well and then you have a pier side restaurant uh, I'm not really feeling that hungry so most likely what I will do is just take the fish and chips provided they are cooking in vegetable oil so I'll have to find out but it looks to me probably it's locally caught fish so I would go for it and uh, later on I'm going to go a little bit on that side and then uh, yeah so there are some benches you can go and relax and overall you know I like tranquil places quiet places like these where there are not too many people and uh, this way you get a chance to relax your nerves and most of the time what we are usually doing especially people like me in the IT industry is uh, we are in front of the computer coding away for hours on end and can be quite stressful and uh, off and on I think it's a good idea to visit such places Driving around the By the way guys, uh, you know, I just wanted to let you know I'm here in a restaurant and uh, uh, eating white fish that is locally caught is so tasty. It's, I'm almost finished. 
but uh, what stuff was like stuff to was add that that's something you must eat when you oh, come yeah? to Manitoulin Island. Oh, fish wrapped to gold? Thank you. It's yeah, locally sure caught the and all it's the most beautiful fish I've You're ever welcome. tasted. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. good. I'm just recording this okay. because I want people to know about this white fish. And uh, it's actually very nice. Is it possible to buy it raw? Um, no, it's not raw, no. You can get it from a local fish provider that we eat. Okay. Uh, I wish I could just take some home mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. beat myself. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, find around here the fish markets for sure. They have fish market here, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Little yeah. curd, you have yes. to go all the way there? Yeah. yeah. Next time then. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Alright, thank you. You're welcome. I guess you guys heard. So, <clears throat> so it's available, but one has to go all the way to the Manitoulin Island in order to get it. So, I'll probably make that my in my next trip. Not now, but the ferry is leaving in about 50 minutes. So, I'll just wander around a little bit more. All right, but and here, guys, this some funny scene to see so look first of all what it says here read it says fresh white fish if it was any fresher it would still be swimming <laughs> that's really so funny so looks like they have Chapman's ice cream too I wish I could take some ice cream but I think uh, the uh, white fish I had that should be enough Look what's inside. You have monsters inside. Ooh, scary. Ooh. And look. They even have a kid. Oh my goodness. Scary looking doll inside. And the kid kind of looks happy. Amazing. And this is an old Ford pickup truck, probably like. 70 years old, maybe even older. And very funny. Good. So it's regarding that restaurant over there. Over there. So most likely an advertisement. So that's another place where you can get fresh white fish, fish and chips. So quite good. Alrighty. Here comes the ship, and it's a huge one, there you can see it. So we will go along with the cars inside the ship, it is going to take nearly an hour and a half to get back to Tobermory. And uh, yeah, so this is the ship that goes to and fro between Tobermory and the Manitoulin Island so right now it's going to dock and then in maybe another 5-10 minutes we will be loading our cars into it alright guys so this is a quick video regarding the place that I'm staying in and uh, by now it's a bit night <laughs> gotten dark already and uh, huh, it's getting now close to 9.30 p.m. but you can see see the skies are clear this is in Tobermory and uh, you have the moon is about just started to show up I hope you can see it and uh, yeah so this is the inn and it's a very nice resort a bit on the expensive end but quite nice so it has some rooms over here and at the bank there are cabins but it's too dark at this point I can't show you the cabins are without any am amenities like they don't even have a uh, washroom it's a shared washroom 
and uh, no tub, no shower whatsoever. So the basic necessity, that's about it. And uh, then what we have here is again a sitting place. And uh, this is my room here. Let's go inside. Okay. So right now, I have a fridge here. And some coffee, my own cup stuff laying around. And uh, in addition to that, yeah, so this would be the room. The two sofas, a TV, with a remote of course, and then a bed that has been made nicely. So it's a very clean room, clean furniture, everything looks good, including an air conditioner. So I'm going to put on. Last time I was kind of even hot. Let me crank it all the way down. And the washroom. Important stuff. The washroom. And uh, then we have the bathtub. The bathtub comes with something special. So you can actually do like a vertical once it goes to a certain level. Then press the knob over there in the corner. And then it should give you some kind of work to It's nice, nice to have. So, after all that walking that I've been doing today, I think I'm going to <laughs> take a bath and uh, enjoy the bath a little bit. And uh, then I'm going to go to sleep. Really, you know, I need the sleep. I've been stressed for such a long period of time and uh, need to wind down, calm my senses before I go and do something else. That's it for today and uh, tomorrow most likely I'm going to do some flower pot island and shipwreck and all that stuff. For now, over and out, good night. So these are the two flower pots. They've been formed over thousands of years of wave and ice action just as the water levels of the lake have been dropping. As though once by the cliff face that now stands behind them. They made up of limestone and a harder doll of stone from where you get dropped off. It's only about a 10 minute hike out to this spot. It's the most common spot to go swimming and have a picnic due to all the flat rock that's surrounding the area. The current water temperature is about 22 degrees Celsius. If you just look back at the top right hand corner of the large flower pot, you can see the profile of a face. You can see the nose sticking out, the slit in the mouth and the eye. Top right hand corner. That's pretty much how it looks like. 20 pages. I guess you can make the face out of the in the cows. Hey guys, I'm in the inside of the house that we were looking at and uh, it's absolutely marvelous, oh so beautiful. This pink room probably belongs to one of the volunteers and they actually happen to stay here for two, three nights. I would become a volunteer here. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Imagine yourself sleeping here and then you have this beautiful view. Just the oh, water waves that sound and that's pretty much it wow you have the old potty oh no actually sink <laughs> and uh, yeah this looks to be the house of a guy I mean the room of a guy 
and uh, what does it say over here well let me read it on my way back and uh, yeah so we have some tools lying around old stuff man that's so nice beautiful I love this oh gorgeous okay and this happens to be Martha's garden oh okay the cult is here blah 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 man I would like to spend two or three days here look at that you know the best room by far was the one that we saw over here ah oh, that's so beautiful look at the outside view Ooh, nice <laughs> okay Let's go down. Oopsie. And then we have to look at the grandma and grandpa. <laughs> they seem both to be dead. And an old TV. Whoa. So nice. And even you have a balcony. Wow. And a checkerboard. Good. And a really, really old Marconi radio telephone. Wow. That is like a hundred years old. Interesting stuff. Yeah. Okay. And this is the kitchen area. Isn't that nice? All old stuff. You got a barn. Wood for fuel. And the dining area. I think it's a three word. Everyone's like, you're never going to be I'm like, I'm not going to be. Take care. Okay. That's about it. And we have the host here. I'm just recording. Is that okay? Oh yes, absolutely. Okay, perfect, perfect. You <laughs> Welcome. Know, those those rooms up there, they are gorgeous. Yes. Is it possible for me to become a volunteer too? Absolutely. Oh really? So volunteers, uh, you need to become a member of uh, the Flower Pot Association. Okay. And then once you're a member, uh, they'll ask you um, what weekends you're interested. So they give you a, a whole calendar, and you okay. tell them what ones you're available. Uh -huh. And then um, they make up a schedule and contact you, and they say, okay, this is the weekend. And you say yes or no uh, uh, but it's a working vacation so it does cost you you have to pay to come across to the island and you do pay I think it's oh you still have to pay for yep okay yep okay. and you pay to stay here as well but it's minimal it's $50 a night kind of thing $50 a night yep and you're okay. usually here about three nights and you work uh, the whole day that you're uh -huh. here on the island and then once the last boat leaves you have the island to yourself Ah, okay. You have to bring in everything with you, so food all your everything. food, everything. This is not operational, I suppose. The no, okay. this house is just a museum. We uh -huh. actually stay in the uh, in the newer house. Okay, uh -huh. okay, okay. So the, no one stays over there. No the pink room I saw, beautiful <laughs> view outside. Yes, exactly. yes. I wanted to stay there. Exactly. Yes, but I will tell you if you get a chance, if you sit on the front porch, that's the loveliest spot. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I have uh, the dock uh, at 4.20 right. yes. and I think it's getting high time so do you think I'll get back uh, like how many uh, uh, how I'm long not sure what the time is it's about a half an hour it's about half an hour okay mm -hmm. yeah I think I'll just uh, check on the uh, what do you call that the front balcony? porch yes yes, yes. Porch. so if you go out here yeah. and you walk around you'll be uh -huh. able to walk out onto the front porch okay all right thank you so you're much. welcome Enjoy. Yeah. And this one would be the front porch. Again, a lovely view from up there. It's pretty good. <laughs> nice little old house. Quite stable, as she told, even when it's stormy. Quite good. <laughs> and from here, the porch. Let's take a look. Sorry, guys, I'll censor you out. Don't worry. Oh, no problem? No problem. Okay. I'll put it on YouTube. Yeah, really? No issues. No issues? Yeah. Okay. What is your channel name? Um, my name, Rizwan. Mm -hmm. R-I-Z-W-N. What is your channel name? Um, can I? The same. Same one now. Okay. Yeah, it's the same. Rizwan. You'll yeah. type, you'll find it. Okay. So there are a couple of other videos where I dif visit different parts of the world. 
and this is pretty much what I do. It's kind of fun. <laughs> okay. That's right. Beautiful weather. Yeah. yeah. And beautiful scene. I love the water. This is the world's largest freshwater lake. That's what I've yeah. heard. And uh, yeah, the water is clear. Hey guys, so this is one fish and chips corner. It's in Tobermory. It's right along the corner as you can see here. Right? And it's very good. They serve the yeah, main speciality is chips. And uh, what they do is they ask you you can eat as much as you want. We, hey, hey, here we here we have a uh, one pirate coming up, so he's going to give me some, some of my fish and chips. As you can see, very nice smiley faces. I don't know how they keep the smiles during the entire day. And the entire day. And lots of funny faces. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> That's very nice, man. You like it? Yeah, you are getting recorded right now. Ah, look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Yay. <laughs> good, good, good. There you go. You'll be famous. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you, brother. There he is. I got it. Just wanted to show you guys the other portion. So well, well, this this white fish it looks so tasty. Not only looks so tasty, but it is really tasty. And you will love it. What do you love? So good for you too. Mm. I can't wait. It's so hot. I'll have to wait a little bit. I can't really. How do you like the flag? Do you like it? It looks like a pirate ship, doesn't it? Hi guys. So finally I have found a spot which is really really quiet, tranquil and you can probably hear in the background the water also and I'm going to show you around. It's it's really really quiet and uh, they have a couple of um, what would you call legend of this area and uh, le let's see uh. so right now I'm sitting on this nice chair good chair this is what it looks like and uh, pretty quiet and serene here is some useful information. So it says the Saugeen Peninsula, commonly called the Bruce Peninsula, has been an important place for First Nations for thousands of years. Archaeological finds indicate that the Odawa people had what was likely a warm season fishing camp in the corner of this bay over 400 years ago so over 400 years ago this place was pristine pristine and uh, like look at this picture it looks so nice they have a tp which is a tent of the aborigines a canoe and there's a man and a woman woman holding a baby and they are here to fish i mean can it get more beautiful than that? Like you are free to roam about everywhere you go. You can find food. You can forage for food. 
untold stories. Okay. Like a time traveler, a clay pot carefully placed in a small overhang surfaced in 1996. It is a work of art from the hands of someone who lived here long ago. What untold stories of this place does the pot hold? Uh, well, and encarpment below is welcome to the little dunks bay that's what they call it now between here and Cabot had 21 kilometers distant you are looking over a section of the Niagara encarpment like an iceberg that is mostly underwater it descends for 200 meters more to the deepest part of Georgian Bay okay all right invaluable shore water creates this marvelous edge the shore that we humans can't get enough of and so we buy it and build on it between here and Cabot head far in the distance is what is now the longest public wild shore on the southern Great Lakes when the Sun rises solid gold okay all right, so let's take a look. So here you can see uh, the water is quite shallow in the beginning, but goes deeper. The distance we can see it becomes darkish blue because of the depth. So why is why do we have blue color here? Because the blue color from the sunlight gets reflected while the lower frequency which is uh, the the red light is absorbed by the ocean and most likely used by the life forms in it so this is a very nice perfectly preserved ecosystem and it's and it looks quite tranquil, quite nice. Let me zoom a little bit as much as I can. So in the distance you can see the shorelines. And uh, here also you can see the shoreline. So this, this, this place itself is very nice. Very quiet. And uh, to me it's pristine. You know what I will do. I will just sit here, relax before I head back to the inn. And then I'll take uh, take a bath and then later on go to bed so this is just as a ending log for today I'm a bit tired I had a long walk on the flower pot, pot island flower pot island and um, that was also I think at least around two kilometer of walk so I'm a bit tired today but it's good hopefully we'll have a deep sleep tonight and uh, that's about it